Now before we download and open the Elgato Stream Deck on our phone, whether it's Android or whether it's iPhone, you will need to download it from the website. You need to download the software to use on your PC, be that Mac or uh, Windows. As you can see here, you have the choice of Mac or Windows. Go down to the Stream Deck. Now it doesn't matter which one you choose because they're all the same. Whether you choose the Excel, the mobile, it's the same software. So simply go to this link and download it. You can see I'm downloading it. Now I've already installed it. You need to install it too. And the result will be this. Here you can see I've got my Stream Deck already on there. But when you download it, please click on the cog and check you have the updated version. So we click for update. Yes, it's the latest version. Make sure you do that first and foremost. So the next thing we need to do is I need to add this. Remember I told you before, I also had it on an iPad and I have it on an iPad and I can also add my mobile device. So I'm going to add the mobile device and watch what happens. I need to link onto that square. So I'm going to click open, but I have to move my device over here. And there you can see at the bottom, it says my stream deck is valid till the 17th of August and it's now the 11th of August. So I've been using it for a month for free. So let's see if we can add a connection. And there it is. You see, it copied the connection, but now it's saying, do I want to copy the profiles? So if I wanted to, I could copy the profiles from my iPad and it would have everything ready, but I don't want to. We want to do a clean install. So don't copy. And all we're left with is this. So there's our phone and there's the apps there. As you can see, nothing is on either of them yet. Okay, so in this part one, we're going to add the remote control buttons and a home button. First of all, we need to get rid of this blue button. All that happens is you click on it and it takes you to the website where you can buy more stuff, I guess. We don't need it, so click on it, right click and delete it. Now, I want to add the buttons here. Here you have Stream Deck, some icons and system. We want to go to system and multimedia. Drag that in and choose, let's choose play pause. And there it is. Now, it's a good idea to give them all a name in case later you want to remember them. So I'll just put PP, play pause. But you don't have to. See, it, the logo comes up. Now, when a logo comes up, you can simply say, please don't show. So we'll leave that like that. Uh, another control we want, remember, we want to uh, increase the volume. Another one, we want to decrease the volume. And the final one, we want to mute. And that's that. And that's all of them done. And just an ex as an example, I'll play this little video of me skiing. And simply by pressing the buttons on the pad, it pauses it. You see it? it moved in because I'm, I'm clicking here now and if I click it again it plays or I click mute and it's muted and okay so that was me skiing wonderful so there you have that now to make our home button we have to make our first switch profile and here we have all of the profiles, the default profiles. We have new profile, edit profiles. Let's edit. To make new ones, simply click this plus button. But for now, I don't want to make any new ones. Let's delete this. We just want to change the default to the word home. So double click, type in home and make sure that you do not click this button to make this the default profile because it can cause problems when you're in another profile and, and I found myself switching back to the home profile when I didn't want to be. 
don't tick the box. Now, we notice that in order to make this the home profile, it just says next and default. Let's click on a, another button and then back to that button. Now we can see it says home. And let's label it home. And whenever you type a label, it automatically appears here. So let's make that orange. So you can see the label there and you can move it down below. And there you have our home button. And if I press it, it doesn't go anywhere because that's our home base. What I'd like to do is just quickly add an icon to it. Now there are a number of ways you can add icons. You can either click this plus icon and it takes you to the Stream Deck library. But you can also get there by clicking this arrow, Stream Deck library, or create a new icon, or from your own file. If you want to create a new icon, it takes you to the website, and you can click on any of these icons and edit them as you like. But for me, I'm just going to uh, actually not use any of these. Uh, if you go to the Open Deck Library, you may only find the Elgato one. And these icons, there aren't that interesting. So in order to get these other ones that you may like, for instance, Legion, what you have to do is click Get More Icon Packs. And these are all free. This will arrive. Here are the icons. Later on, we'll be looking at plugins. But for the icons, you can click on productivity and install any of them you like. I prefer to go hunting for my own icons. So I go to uh, Google, I type home orange icon. And I'll move that over here. And uh, all I have to do is right click this icon and go save image as. And you can see I've already saved it once. I'll just save it again. Yes, replace it. And now I just simply have to drag the icon into that area. And there it is. I can change the text to be black and put it in the middle. Just check that it is the home icon again. Yes, it is. So every time I click on this now, it's just the home button. So now let's move on to a new profile, which will eventually link back to this profile.